सर आई हैव अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टोरी टू शेयर विद यू अराउंड वन एंड हाफ टू ईयर्स बैक अ सीनियर ऑफिसर इन मर्चेंट नेवी केम टू मीट मी सो जस्ट वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट इज गोइंग अराउंड वॉट वी आर डूंग जेम डेगेट में ऐसे बात करते करते मेरे वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड्स एंड आई टोल्ड यू मेर वॉट आर तो कहते यार अभी राइट नाउ आई मीन अ मेस एंड फॉर द लास्ट एट मंथ नाइन मंथ आई बीन ऑन शिप नॉट बीन ऑन शिप बिकॉज आई एम ट्राइंग टू सेटल थिंग्स आउट हेयर एट हाउस में वॉट एपेंट क्या हुआ तो देन ही लिट अप कहते यार आई हैव अ यंगर ब्रदर एंड माई फादर हैज गॉट अ शॉप बिजनेस है हमारा एंड आई वी हैव अ हाउस एज वेल कहते अभी तो वॉट एवर आई वर्न आई जस्ट ब्लाइंडली जस्ट घर पर दिया घर बन गया बड़ा हो गया टूडे वी आर लिविंग इन अ टू रूम क्वार्टर टू डे बट वी आर अ लॉट ऑफ लैंड टूडे इट्स बिकम अ बिग हाउस and uh, then uh, a lot of money of mine was invested in the business thing which grew up jo uh, younger brother tha i was into studies and everything so i grew out of the house today i am in that this rank very fast promotion a good shipping company younger brother was never interested and he started working with papa in the business abhi i have got married and my younger brother got married just one year back ab meri jo wife hai uske sath meri family ki nahi banti hai they are completely not it was a love marriage and my family doesn't approve my younger brother married as per the family's wishes everybody approves of her and today the thing is that uh, my wife does not look into eye to eye with my parents and my brother and they also do not look eye to eye with them so the only thing was that we could separate so i asked asked him chalo bhi separate hote hain to kehte there is no place for you in the house or in the shop ye to hamare chote bhai ka hai it is for chote bete ke liye tere liye kuch nahi hai to apni biwi ke sath ja aur jai mata di kar these were the exact moment there were tears in his eyes at that time i could see that so kehta hai jin ke liye kiya and today this is happening no sir it's a very very dicey case the parents who gave you so much if you do not trust them or do not give them that is also bad if you give them and tomorrow you feel cheated that is also bad so in this situation what can a person do yeah actually see that is what that is where we say that human Uh, relationships are very complex and uh, it's very difficult to find a solution for these because even whether we call about talk about merchant navy officers or we talk about shore based officers these things happen now let us consider another scenario that there is a a business uh, which is going on in the family let's say they have a shop okay and initially there was the grandfather there who is who started the shop then the father took over the, that part and let's say he was the only son and other daughters were there but he was the only son because if we make two sons here will okay. complicate so let's make only one son then he had further two three sons now you consider that aspect that the business is same the cash flow is same the profits are same nothing has grown but previously there was one family which was earning out of it which was supposed to be fed out of the, this thing but now slowly when these three children will get married will they not have three different families definitely so now lot of the and it, it is not even uh, with the small businesses we talk about the biggest business family in the country today i won't take the name Everybody as soon as the patriarch passed away the two brothers had the <laughs> worst possible feud and there was no way to actually unravel those companies I mean, it was not even the case of survival there, but finally, it has come to that that one brother is fighting for survival within about 19 years of separation. So the point here basically is about human understanding. Now we always talk about mariners because of a particular reason. First is that their own mind does not really mature. Why? देखो इसे हिंदी में कहते हैं चेतना. हम हमेशा अपनी चेतना से बंधे रहते हैं कि हमारे पीछे की जो मेमोरीज हैं वो हमें आगे बढ़ने से रोकती हैं दे डू नॉट लेट एस बी ऑब्जेक्टिव बिकम ऑब्जेक्टिव हमें भावनाओं से और उसी के साथ में बांधे रखती हैं और हमें डिसीजन लेने से रोकती हैं जैसे मैंने पिछली वीडियो में भी कहा कि हम सत्रह साल के जाते हैं और ज्यादातर टाइम हम सत्रह साल के ही रहते हैं हम सोचते हैं वो लोग वहीं पर खड़े हुए हैं जैसा कि हमने बहुत बार देखा है कि एनआरआई जो यहां से जाते हैं वो हमसे ज्यादा अच्छे ढंग से इंडिया के बारे में जानते हैं हमारे से ज्यादा अच्छे वो रीति रिवाज वहां निभाते हैं बट दैट हैज नो मीनिंग बिकॉज दोज थिंग्स आर नॉट इवन फॉलोड बाई पीपल हु स्टे इन इंडिया नाउ बट दोज पीपल आर कनेक्टेड विद दो नाउ द सी फेयर हैज टू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग 
and when he gets married before the marriage all these things have to be sorted out and this is very important for people who are watching who are fourth engineer third officers today because as per the last survey that i undertook most of the people these fourth engineers and fourth engineers and third officers they are about to get married or they are married so it's very difficult to tell them that don't get married because they are already 26 27 that is the age to get married when will you get married otherwise but you should be prepared for the journey ahead you should start planning because the houses are getting expensive but you ultimately have to buy a house the place where a house was yesterday will finally come into a area which will become crowded later on it will become expensive but it will become crowded it is possible that out of that the person may get a share out of his father's or may not but that should not stop him from planning on his own that should not stop him from buying property on his own in his own name that is exactly what i have written in my book in the initial chapters that it is a decision that you must start taking financial decisions come much later first you have to take the decision that i am going to be responsible for myself i am going to be responsible for my family my family means my parents before i am married my brother sisters if they listen to me because in most of the cases you may want your brother to do one particular thing or your sister want to do a particular thing but they may be interested in something else you cannot force them so you have to allow everybody their freedom but not really subsidize their lifestyle and subsidizing lifestyle is expensive nowadays a uh, iphone costs 1 lakh 40000 so you have to think <laughs> your uh, relative should have a gift like that or not uh, i somehow could never bring myself to spend so much money for gifts for my relatives for for myself also never because there wasn't this kind of money before so the point is that decision these decisions are to be taken by us and this is what we should prepare our young mariners by your story that you said and the two stories that i have mentioned and it is not always that people are like this there are cases which are other way also i have sailed with a very young officer uh, he was third engineer earlier and from a very good uh, engineering college in india and as a third engineer first time i talked to him about this planning and then he went ashore on leave and he started his investment he's from mumbai so they stayed in a very small house on one side of mumbai with his parents i think he had a sister he has a sister and uh, he started investing in a very nice way in a very aggressive way all in mutual funds nothing else and i tracked because he stayed in touch and i tracked his progress and he managed himself very beautifully within a very i mean by the before he became chief engineer i think he is a chief engineer now he had a separate house where he stayed and the parents and his sister and sister's family would all mix around at weekends or whenever they wanted and they would go to parents place and they parents would come back to the place uh, across uh, the railway line i think they were east and west he bought himself a, a house he bought one of the best vehicles i think it was one of those xuv 500 uh, that time he's very fond of mobikes so he has i think one or two mobikes and he's uh, all the way he's financially well stable uh i think uh, you'll will make us something about myself also but uh, frankly i stayed in dehradun and i when i felt and i discussed with my parents that it's not possible for me to bring up my child in this particular area i need to be closer to the school well, and my father refused to move with us because he said he is established where he is so but i did not leave the city i stayed here we bought a separate house we had excellent relations round the week we used to meet but then we stayed in a different house and initially those were the early 90s very very early 90s and uh, it was for a small town like dehradun it was not easy for people to accept that the sun is staying out and people made a lot of uh you know stories and everything was floating around but then who cares who cares uh what people think main thing is that you should have a life which is supportive to everybody it's a very simple thing when we are in the aeroplane 
and uh, the instructions are being given for life support and life saving the air hostess or the stewardess tells you that when the air pressure will fall this mask will fall so before to put your own before to put the mask for your child you should put your own mask now that is very important that in life you should first put your own mask if you will not get oxygen how will you put the mask for your dependents and it is very important to understand that your life decisions in matter of money should be yours i am not saying whether you should get married on your out of your own choice or parents choice people call it love marriage or arranged marriage i really don't know the difference because uh, if a marriage is without love it doesn't mean anything whether it is arranged or not arranged but definitely you have to be assertive in life otherwise if you are not i'm not saying you have to be aggressive you have to be insultive you have to be argumentative no but you have to be assertive that this is the way i want you should take uh, your uh, advice from your elders all relatives you should seek their opinion because unless you will seek the opinion you will not get the viewpoint then how will you grow mentally but when you will seek viewpoints from your let's say your parents or your uncles or your father's friends i'm sorry your friend's father you have five six friends you should before you go to colleges you should develop a relationship this is for the young people out there you should always have the friends into the friends family i mean you should treat their parents their sisters as your own so that they can help you in life that was always my uh, uh, philosophy and uh, across jeradun we had five of us and we, even if we went to the house and the friend wasn't there we sat there we had food we talked to them as if they were our relatives and i can tell you that the amount that i have learned from my friends parents or their relatives relatives of friends i have not been able to learn from my own parents because when somebody else talks to you he talks with certain amount of novelty he brings across a different view point i'll give you a very good example that the gentleman who actually arranged for all these seminars in dehradun for seafarers his father was the person who told me when i was just married that you do not have a pensionable job so you should arrange your see he only gave me this much hint he said you should arrange your money matters in such a way so that you pay minimum of taxes and even after expenses your total portfolio should remain same this i am talking about in 1990 91 he told me this he did not tell me how he was a very good investor but he did not tell me how but he gave me a a guru mantra to start working on it and i did start i was already working on it but then i went a little more focused way and luckily that time all these mutual funds started coming out in 93 so there's a thing so the point is we should learn from life we should learn from people we should interact with people and we should not hesitate in uh, listening to people who are elder than you i have had that philosophy that either i would keep friends in a higher age group or in a age group lower than me today all the technology and everything that i learn on all these gadgets is from people like rithik or younger than him because only they can teach me people older than me today may not be so suitable because they have a very fixated point in life but when i was in my 30s i would certainly look around look up to people who are in 50s because they had the wisdom of life and they did not have any personal interest in telling me something they did not they were not gaining out of me so your life experiences can be bitter they should be welcome a bitter experience in life is the best teacher not a good experience a good experience with people will give you with good memories but not a lesson it's only the failures it's only the bad experiences which will act as a good teacher and we hope that uh, Finally, we all will rise. किरते हैं शहर सवार मैदान जंग में वो तिफल क्या खाक लड़ेंगे जो घुटनों के बल चलेंगे गिरेंगे चढ़ेंगे चलेंगे 
is a this video is going to become longer but i can, i have to ask this sir you said like the way you gave examples ki bhai alag aap ab pehle apne aap ko mask banaiye to ek alag ghar hi cheez honi chahiye but people can stay together with their family as well it is a very subjective thing apne mata pita ke sath reh ke bhi kyun nahi kuch reh sakte hain log rehte hain और दूसरी चीज ये कहना चाहता था सर कि जिन माता पिता ने पाल पोस के बड़ा हाउ टू मेक दैट अगेन विद दिस क्वेश्चन आई एम सिटिंग एज हाउ टू मेक दैट बैलेंस कि जो माता पिता है जिन्होंने अपना सर्वस्व आपके लिए दिया भी एज्यूम दैट वे तो उनको भी किसी चीज की कमी ना रहे हमें लगे कि हमने बेटे का भी फर्ज निभाया और कल को ऐसा भी ना हो कि हमें लगे यार तो हमने गलती कर दी या ये गलत हो गया मेरे साथ थोड़ा सा अगर आप इस पर थोड़ा प्रकाश डाल सकते एक बहुत अच्छी बात बताओ आपको बहुत साल पहले जब When I was fourth engineer, हमारे साथ एक चीफ ऑफिसर सेल किया एंड ही हैड बॉट अ सिंगल बेडरूम फ्लैट इन बैंगलोर आई रियली डेंट इवन नो दैट सिंगल बेडरूम फ्लैट एग्जिस्टेड एंड आई आस्ट माई सेड वाइट डू बाई सिंगल बेडरूम फ्लैट ही सेड माई वाइफ डिड नॉट वॉन्ट माई पेरेंट्स टू कम एंड स्टे विद मी सिंगल बेडरूम आई मीन द जेंटलमैन डिड नॉट इवन think twice that okay the parents may not come and stay with them but at least he will have children who will when you will need a second second bedroom you see so the basic thing what i want to say is that don't buy a two bedroom flat if why do you want to move out because you want to settle in a different city different area of the same city a bigger outfit because na- uh, what happens is that the place where we keep living whole of a life we outgrow it the people who stay there they will remain attached but you will outgrow but now you want to stay in a better place which is closer to your child's school which is closer to let's say the facilities which your child will require i think that is the most important aspect not how close the mall is or how close the hospital is that is not a problem you will not be going to the hospital every day but where it is open where it is better the facilities are better and most important thing i consider is it should be very close to the school so in that place when you buy you should buy a place where you can stay with your parents you bring them into confidence that this is the reason why you want to shift and what is their opinion naturally 90% of the indian parents will say no but then you must say that i need to stay there आपको भी रहना पड़ेगा सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज दैट इफ द चाइल्ड इज ऑन दैट पाथ द पेरेंट्स ऑल्सो मस्ट सेक्रीफाइस समथिंग देर वॉट आर दे सेक्रीफाइसिंग देर नॉट सेक्रीफाइसिंग एनीथिंग आई एम जस्ट बिकम अ ग्रैंड पेरेंट आई वुड लाइक टू स्टे विद माई ग्रैंड चिल्ड्रन आई कैन बट सिमिलरली दे वुड प्रॉब्लम लाइक टू स्टे विद देर ग्रैंड चिल्ड्रन एज मच एज द पॉसिबल सो इफ दे वॉन्ट दे शुड बी एबल टू मूव देर आई एम ओनली टॉकिंग अबाउट द पेरेंट्स not the brothers or sisters or everybody we assume that after their other children have moved away the parents will come and stay with you if you are very attached to the parents and if the equations of the family is all same they should come and stay with you see we are at a very crossroads in india we are not americans yet but we have all the culture of the americans but we value system which we want to adopt is a very indian one in this value system sometimes we feel the that the parents are being unreasonable the parents feel that the children are being too selfish but there was a very good article in july i read by a very famous lady uh, i'll tell you the name she said that no child ever plans for his life with keeping his parents in mind the parents are not that in the picture and this has not been the case today it has always been there always been the case if you see movies of uh, uh, rajesh khanna release in early 60s they have the same story so one should not feel guilty about it one should go and think in a bigger way whenever you wish to uh, buy something buy in location which is more pleasant and uh, likable to you and your wife keeping everything in mind not just because the skyline is beautiful keeping the facilities in mind the security of the wife in mind you're going to be out at sea I and mean, the officer will be out at sea so your wife should feel secure there first word is secure and then of course comes feel good about it 
and of course if the parents are attached and everything is okay they will would like to stay with you if they do not keep that bond don't break you want to never break a relationship for nothing this was a mool mantra that a batchmate of mine gave and i still remember him for it so that is the main thing solutions are found from problems only but unless you are the person finding the solution the solution will not come to you if you will try to be the person on which the solutions are heaped on they are thrust upon then you will always be the victim so that is the case and it in uh, in a seafarer's uh, language i would say i would apply a, a psych- psychiatric term that most of the seafarers they suffer with a persecution complex that they have been persecuted at work at home this that do not harbor any such this thing no, as it is nowadays people everybody see i am in a different generation i am from a previous generation than yours so now as it is everybody is having one child maximum two so there are not so many children in any case so the concept of parents staying with the children or not staying with the children will slowly die out because the parents will be there and as a mariner you will have to be staying in the same city unless you are going for a different profession so you will always be with your parents nobody wants to leave the parents but one should also remember that and this everybody should remember and should keep it in mind that it is not only about your parents your wife also has parents and whatever be the terms and conditions that you opt adapt in life they should also keep in mind the wife's parents also you should also respect them you should care about them genuinely not phoning up every morning and asking that how are you and everything you should actually be thinking about them about their health and welfare and everything the same way that you think about your own parents and if you do that your wife will also do the same thing so it's it works both ways last but not the least एयरलाइन में जाते हैं पहले अपना मास्क पहनो फिर बाकी किसी को पहनो विद दिस ऑल आई कैन सी थैंक यू वेरी मच जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता